Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's been forever and a day since I did an unboxing, a taste test, or anything of the sort. So this year, I'm going to try something new. Azaro's taste test is making a return, but there are going to be some changes. That being said, what those changes are is that when you think of the word taste, oftentimes, you know, I use it in the context of putting something in my mouth, getting the flavor of it. But taste also means developing a flavor for something that may not necessarily be edible. You know what I mean? And I'm not talking about eating anything inedible. I just mean like you want to get an opinion about it. So Azaro's taste test will be doing more uh, non-food items starting with this. Now, some of you I'm pretty sure have seen the commercials of the soaps made by Dr. Squatch. Um, it's a soap company that uses, uh, that makes an, uh, that makes natural soaps um basically for men and uh just to you know the way they advertise it to smell like a man and they have so many different scents on their websites and they branched out into doing you know shampoos natural shampoos um which is derived from natural ingredients of course as well as their soaps and things like that and um they branched out into doing toothpaste and various other things you know candles colognes and things like that but i just stuck with the soaps so i ended up getting a three month subscription uh with those guys which means every three months they'll ship me some soaps um of my choosing or if i let them choose which ones i haven't you know tried yet or whatever they're going to ship them to me once every once every three months and um i picked the, the three soap subscription so um we're basically going to check these out and see exactly what we have going on. Now, the three that I now first and foremost, how I'm going to do this is that first and foremost, I'm going to, uh, you know, just get a a smell of the soaps, and then later on this week, I, I may record a video of me being in the shower, not showing any hiney parts or anything like that, but just to give an opinion of how they they actually work, you know. So I think that'll be interesting to see. I never did anything like that before, so. Hey, look, th this year is going to be interesting. Now, from for, for, for starters, I can actually smell the soaps through the the packaging. That's how strong the scents are. Now, they use, again, the, the, the base they, they use, I think, is sustainable palm oil, uh, shea butter, and I think coconut oil, I believe. That's like the base. And then they mix in certain exfoliants like oatmeal or maybe even sand. And then they mix it with uh, different scents like orange uh, orange oil or like the oils from an orange peel or maybe even like some pine tar. Or I've seen a soap on there that uses actually um, some coffee beans as a scent. You know, like that. You can, you can actually see the coffee beans in the soap. So it's going to be interesting. So let's check out the three that I got and uh, let's get a good smell of uh, a smell of each of them. And we're back. So these are the three that I got with the first subscription. And I'm kind of disappointed because one of them, one of the packaging has been on one of them. But I'm not one of these picky people that try to act like, oh, wow, this happened and, you know, it's so wrong. Um, but yeah, so these are the three that I got. So I'm, I'm going to take a look at each of them uh, and smell each of them. So the first one right here is called Cool Fresh Aloe. Um, first off the size of the bars before I get into that they fit in the palm of the hand real nice and they also have like like some type of green what, what they call it is like the soap gripper and I didn't get that because I just wanted to focus on the soaps for right now um, maybe I'll get it later on if I feel like I need it and then we can review how it works well with the soap but the soaps are like pretty about like an inch thick by like three inches uh, in height and width um, pretty big pretty good big bar uh each of the bars are like seven each but you get a discount if you do like the subscription and things like that so um this right here and, and another thing before i get into them different soaps are used for necessarily you know are, are pretty much used for like different things like you have soaps that are more exfoliant you got that soaps that are, uh lean more towards uh nourishing your skin or making your skin more moisturized you know what i'm saying things like that so we're gonna check these out. So first off, we got the cool fresh, cool fresh aloe, 
cool fresh aloe vera. I'm assuming that's what this stands for. And each of these soaps are like five ounces. Oh, look at this. This box was made from recycled material. Please return me to nature and recycle when you're done. Huh. Made in the USA. So the ingredients back here. It's made with natural ingredients, lathers without harsh chemicals, handcrafted in small batches, cold presses. So the ingredients are olive oil, sustainable palm oil, coconut oil, aloe fragrance, shea butter, kaolin clay, or, or is it kaolin clay? I don't know. I've never seen that word before. Sea salt and colorant. So I'm assuming that the sea salt is supposed to be like the exfoliant in this one. And this one, even though this is one of their less exfoliant uh, bars. Um, so, yeah. And the smell of this one. I kind of wish they had, like, smell of vision It is more so like a, a mild smell. And I will open up each of them once I'm done, you know, doing these reviews. But, like, I'm going to open up each of them to give you guys a look as to see which, which one. Uh, to give you a, a good look how, as to how they look. Um, right here and the next one we got pine tar now this one is the more exfoliant one to my knowledge um, feature, featuring oatmeal and sand I don't know how well you guys can see that I'm trying to zoom in it says yeah featured oatmeal and sand matter of fact give me a second I, I, I know it's the problem gotta tap it like that there we go oatmeal and sand and the ingredients, olive oil, sustainable palm oil, coconut oil, shea butter, orange essential oil, pine fragrance, pine tar, oatmeal, sand, activated charcoal, kaolin clay, and sea salt. So this one gets rid of impurities. So that's how it gets that, that black feel. And this was the main one I was smelling. This one has a very strong scent to it. It smells good, don't get me wrong. But when I told you I could smell the soap through the packaging this was the main one that that uh that caught my attention because this is the only scent I could smell and next up we have uh cedar citrus and this one is this has what peppermint leaves okay and again we have sustainable we have olive oil sustainable palm oil coconut oil shea butter cedar wood essential oil Orange essential oil, rosemary essential oil, peppermint leaves, kaolin clay, and sea salt. So I'm assuming the peppermint leaves are the exfoliant. And this, oh, this one, this one has my attention. I like the way that, I like the way that one smells. So let's open each, each of these up and get a good look at what the bars look like. Okay. So this is what they look like outside the packaging right here. So this is the aloe, the fresh uh, cooling aloe. It's like this one didn't mix too well because I'm assuming they 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 wanted that shade of green to be like more so around the bar, and it it feels good in your hand too. And you get a better oh that smells so much better outside the box, oh my god. It smells like it smells like aloe vera, but wait a minute, what was the other scents they had in this? Hold on, give me a second. I gotta hold this with, with this hand. Cause... Aloe vera, shea butter, kaolin clay. It's coconut in there, but I smell something else. It smells like something else, though. Oh my goodness. Bro, that smells good. Again, it is smashed on the side, I guess from the handling. But it doesn't take away from that smell at all. That smells so damn good. I thought they was exaggeration, exaggerating in those damn commercials. It's the pine tar. Oh. I'm not even joking, bro. This pine tar. Oh, man. I can't wait to use these. Oh, my God. I see pine fragrance. It smells like they are, okay, so that orange essential oil is coming through in that pine tar bar for, for, for sure. Now, the cedar citrus, I'm, I'm sad because it's like, it's a little chunk that got cut. Like, you, you could probably see it a little bit. See that little chunk right there? 
I guess that's from the handling or them hand print because they do hand make these in small batches. They say so. That's that 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 disappointed me, and it's a little chunk missing from the side, or it's like it's just dented in. Let's get a whiff of this. This one has a nice cedar wood smell to it, and all of these are like are, are like three of the more popular ones. You know, all all of these have five star reviews, and they did a good job with these scents. So, like I said, later on in the week, I will be doing an actual usage of each of these bars. Um, I'm gonna take a shower, and of course, I'm not gonna show any anything that'll gonna get me banned off of YouTube. But you know, I will take a shower and then hop out and give you guys a uh, a very uh, honest review as to how each of them feel on the skin i mean just holding them they feel real good in your hand it's like the shea butter and the and the coconut oil and and all the ingredients it, it just feels like a good bar of soap you know what i mean and i'm so used to using body washes it's just you know i mean bars of soap is just you know i haven't i haven't used them in so long but with all the high reviews and five star reviews that these things have um, depending on how well, the, if, if, if they feel as good as they on my body as they feel in my hand uh, after they lather, most definitely I'm gonna I'm gonna be uh, checking them checking them out. It probably won't be a good idea to do all three of them in one day, but I most definitely will. I most definitely will. So, with that being said, thank you guys for watching this review of the Doctor Squatch uh, bars of soap. The pine tar, the cool fresh aloe, and the cedar citrus. This is only part one. Again, part two is coming on. It's coming later in the week. I'll say around like Thursday, maybe. And uh, just guys, keep an eye out for it. I think it's going to be an interesting uh, video. And you can actually see like the cedar wood in like the bars of soap right here. And this one has oatmeal in it. You know, and the uh, peppermint leaves. Obviously, they ground up in this, so you can't really see it. But most definitely. So thank you guys for watching. Peace. And I'll be back with part two later on in the, in the week. So hope to see you guys then. And remember, be humble in victory, be gracious in defeat, but show no, mo no mercy. Yeah. Be humble in victory, be gracious in defeat, but show no mercy to body odor. World Warriors Collective. Peace.